Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be teaching you how to make 500k every day at the AFC. So if you're new around here and you need a team that's better than mine, well you're in the right place, make sure to subscribe and of course if you do want some coins in a bit of a quicker way, well... If you guys are fed up of coming against sneaks like me and foot champs who use loans and OP cards from day one... I'm getting really sick of you! Get out now! Then you need to head over to MitchCactus.com where not only can you buy the cheapest and most reliable FIFA coins on the EA market, you'll find over 10,000 reviews from people who have used the services and enjoyed them in the past. So make sure to head over to MitchCactus.com and use code RECALL for 5% off. And we've had a lot of new promo cards introduced recently. We're going to have a look at Thunderstruck icons. Now, on the lower end of these, if you pop this to about 80,000 coins, you can grab yourself Xavi Alonso and, of course, Skulls. Now, unfortunately, they have raised the minimum for icons. I think on a lot of icons this year, you can go for like 40k, 30k, and so on. For these ones, you're looking at a 70k minimum, which means you cannot trade with Javi or Scholes. But what we can do is take ourselves over to a different position, and there's a few that we can do to make some coins. So first of all, centre back, we've got the likes of Nesta and Campbell. So quite a nice little mix of players there. And of course, it's profitable. You can snipe them. They aren't at minimum right now. And of course, being that they're in packs and EA have decided right now they're going to dump packs on us like they are going out of fashion, we of course have a good chance of getting some good snipes here now for this one i'd say on the good snipe front what you realistically want is it's 200k ea tax is going to put you down to uh 10k is it 10k is that, that doesn't sound right 10k it is 10k so actually you can go for a 180 snipe and you're making 10,000 coin profit now if you don't think that's enough because you're putting 200k down and obviously you're going to be out of 200k for a little while maybe you want to go for 170 and it's a 20k profit but the reality is if you pick them up at 180 put them up at 200k they're going to sell pretty quickly so you won't be without your coins for very long and soon you'll be on the way to making more coins so it's a very easy one to do of course you've got to get the availability you've got to get your time and right and you just got to be lucky that someone this one at the right time now of course these can be done as bidding filters as well if we put the max price to 100 and i'd say 70 000 coins on this one you can go and bid yourself up these players so you can see a lot of these obviously aren't near where you'd want them to be for the bid so maybe we want to knock this up a little bit see if we can find one that is more to our liking that one here does look like maybe it would be one that's worth having to go on so we're going to pop that up i'm going to straight pop that to 150 so that it's closer to the mark we'll go 160 and what i will do is i'll monitor it and if i do get the card of course i'll show it in a video tomorrow now don't worry if you don't have the coins to be doing these fillers because we are going to go for some lower end stuff as well but we've also got the goalkeeper side of things for thunderstruck so we've got casillas and i think i want to say van der Sar, but let's just check my facts before yet van der Sar and casillas so Bit of a, a difference in the price of these two boys. Quite a heavy price on Van der Sar. Um, you're looking at around 600k with Casillas being more around that kind of 200k mark. Of course, if you do get a Van der Sar on this one, you are absolutely laughing. You're going to need about the same amount of coins for this one as you did the original. It is the same that, of course, Casillas is valued and Xavi Alonso isn't because if Xavi Alonso was, we could do a fit with them both in it. And if we actually have a look at what other filters are available, essentially you've got Cantona and Omri can be done on a filter together. Obviously that's gonna be a difficult one as well. You can do centre forwards. Obviously it's gonna be ridiculous with Cruyff and Puskas. Essentially they have done their best to not really allow you to have filters. You've got Brazilian as well. You know, it, there's not many options where they're really giving you a chance at getting a snipe. But with the goalkeeper and centre backs, we've got a little bit uh, of leeway where we can make some profit. So this one, 218, we're gonna want I think it's once again about about 200k. So you're going to make just under 20k on this one if you do grab one at 200k. Once again, not really that unreasonable to say 20k under the market value. Of course, I'm sniping at nine, so it's not really like the the snipes are going to come as much right now. Get this at six o'clock during a lightning round, whatever it may be. You're going to be making an absolute cake in off of the cards that you pick up. Now we're going to head over to, of course, the regular Thunderstruck cards, and we do have some much lower budget filters. If we go over to Brazil, just a general Brazil filter, as you can see, we're going to have the likes of Gabby Jesus, we're going to have Bremer, and we're going to have the scumbag Joe Linton. I'm, of course, I'm always disappointed to see a Newcastle player in a promo, but if we have a look here, I mean, firstly, how Gabriel Jesus is under 200k is insane. I'm probably going to be picking that up for my squad because I can imagine that card could be beautiful, but nonetheless, we've got 40k. 30k-ish for uh, Thunderstruck, Joe Linton, and of course, Bremer. So a nice little filter, brings them both in. And 30k, really, on the lower end of things. These are where you get your... Oh, that would have been a beautiful snipe. 35k, I think he goes for. If we have a look on the market, 36k. We've not got many at 36. EA tax of 36 is going to be... 
I want to check that that's right because that feels wrong. Okay, maybe it's not. So 36 is pretty much his price. EA tax on 36 is 10% is 3.6 half. So it would be 1.8. I think 1.8. So if we go down here, that is profit. So actually that one at 31 would have been about 3K profit. This here is about 1.2. So actually there's quite a good birth of profit. We've already missed the snipe. That would have been very good. So I think that shows that there is the availability on these cards. It's a shame that obviously, you know, we didn't get the snipe on the first one. I kind of, it's one of them things I always try not to snipe when you're looking for the card because it is likely that you're going to make a mistake and you're going to get a card that you do not want. In this scenario, we made a mistake and got a card that we did not, well, sorry, we made a mistake and didn't get a card we wanted. But, you know, it, it's what happens. If you're going to trade on FIFA, you're going to miss a card here and there. But we're, of course, going to bounce back and go grab another. So we're looking for 33 as a minimum. So if we see a three on there, that's what we want. You can see a couple coming up at 34. 34.750 there we just want that 33 you can see a lot of this card being packed so it's a good field to be on I've, oh that's ours oh we've missed it of course i missed it i'm not gonna lie that was terrible sniping um we'll go 33 500 we'll just pray that one comes up if one comes up at 33 500 i'll compare off it and if one comes up at 33 we'll buy it because i'm not getting 500 coins profit at 33.5k you know that, that's just silly we want to get at least a k profit but we've missed 4k of profit 5k of profit already so we're a little bit in the mud because i'm an idiot oh we might have got one we got a 33 250 which you know what i can actually take because 36 we can definitely push a 36 to 36 250 nice little profit there i'm not going to complain we wanted better but it's a win. Can do, which does include the Bremer card as well, is going to be Syria. Um, you've got Quadrado in there, which I was surprised to see. I didn't actually know he was out. I suppose he's probably in the mini release. Um, but we've also got the likes of Lukaku. So obviously Lukaku, Quadrado, Bremer, all available in this one. Lukaku actually has mudded me a few times in Champions uh, for Champs. So, I mean, he could actually be really good in game. 20k, um, it's worth a try, I think, realistically. You're looking at 22, 22, 22, 22. EA tax on this, I mean, it's going to be 23. EA tax is going to be 1,150, which means we go down to there, and then we go to there, it's not enough. So we'll go there, 700, no, 850 coins profit per card. Easy, easy one to snipe because realistically, no one's wanting Lukaku when they pack him. They're disappointed. As you can see, we've almost got one straight away. We didn't, all, I mean, we did almost get one straight away with Joe Linden, but let's not talk about that. Um, we've almost got a very good snipe there. So you can see that the availability is there. It's a new promo. I think new promo cards that aren't desirable are one of the easiest things to snipe because realistically, no one's fighting you for it. And a lot of people are listing them low because a lot of people are fuming when they pack them. Go on, see, I mean, that, that, that proves my point. There's literally been two listed in the same second there. Um, I don't know if that one's still up. If it is, we'll take it, but it's not. So we'll take the L. But nonetheless, there's definitely a lot to be had in the Thunderstruck promo. And if you are new around here and you enjoyed this video, there's a lot to be had on the channel. So make sure to subscribe. We've got three videos coming tomorrow, two videos a day in December. Make sure to enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow.